Hey everybody, what's up? This is Kevin again with The Serious Man, and today I've got a special unboxing of a device that I call the Wi-Fi Porter. It's from a company called 101 Design, and what this is supposed to do is it makes joining Wi-Fi networks a lot easier using an NFC-enabled chip that's built inside the device. It's got a uh, QR code as well that you use to scan it. So, pretty excited for this one. Let's go ahead and try to get into the box and get into the unboxing experience. So let me correct that. It's not an unboxing experience yet. This is more like a package cutting, tearing apart experience. And then as soon as I can get this thing going, it's gonna turn into a, a real unboxing experience. So bear with me as I try to pull this apart. There we go, last little bit. All right, so throw the trash to the side and we pull, oh, this is really smaller than I thought. Okay, so here it is. This is the Wi-Fi porter. It is, again, like I said, from 101 Design. This comes in a stainless steel and walnut finish. This is the premium finish of the two that I ordered. Share your Wi-Fi with a single tap, personalized with included decorative inserts and a custom QR code. Wi-Fi Porter is an ideal hub. Okay. So, got a couple of things here on the side. We're just gonna put those right there. Now, if you guys remember the video y'all did about my link card, this is very similar to that because they both have NFC enabled chips. And what you do is you hold your phone next to this thing and your iPhone or your Android will pick up on that NFC signal and then send you data related to the device. Um, pretty impressive with the NFC and the link card. I'll link the video down below if you guys wanna go check that out. So let's get into this thing now. So yeah, this device is designed for houses, it's for small businesses, you can use it at a restaurant. Um, basically, if you're trying to have something that you want to kind of use as a hub for your Wi-Fi, well, not really a hub, but if you want to join your Wi-Fi, instead of you having to give out the code to everybody or use like a sheet of paper to pass it around, they can just simply hold their device next to this or scan a QR code on the back and it will instantly connect them to whatever Wi-Fi signal that you choose. It's clear back passing on the back and that's where the QR code is going to go in and I guess that's where the password would go. This is a nice finish. It's aluminum on the front with a, uh, a Wi-Fi little signal. Again, that color bark oak. <laughs> I don't know what color it is on top of my head. But we got our greetings here in the middle. Well, this may be like instructions or something, but greetings, thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to try not to rip this thing apart. Oh. I love the turret. Okay. So this is cool. You guys, so when you order this, it comes with customizable backs for the, uh, or I guess these are like plates that you put on the back of it. So far I got one, two, there's one on the back, so that's three. This is four, that's five. That's camo looking. There we go. So total of six designs, you include the one that's already on the back of this here. And that is removable. Again, I like the finish, it's solid. It's not cheaply built either. It feels really good in the hands. So we can take this off. And yep, that is removable. Again, that's nothing to that part of the front or in the back. Oh, it's got the Wi-Fi porter there. It shows you how to connect to the Wi-Fi and you can easily just swap these out, just like that. I guess the way that works is you place it there and it connects to these two magnets. The uh, plastic cover that I'm holding as magnets. And it just slides right back in. So once you've set the porter up, you can actually go onto your computer or your phone and print out the QR code and the password and just slide it into the back. Now, now you're gonna need an app in order to program your porter and as well to set up the Wi-Fi network that you wanna use with it. So go to your app store or Google Play store, download the Wi-Fi porter app. First time you're gonna log in to greet it with the screen. You hold the porter next to your device and then it recognizes it. And here's where you plug in your Wi-Fi info. So I'm gonna take my Wi-Fi network, which is gonna be the Netgear 89. Tap that in. And then once I've got the password in, I can continue. Going on to the next screen.
All right, so it reviews. Make sure you've got your password and your Wi-Fi network in there. That looks good. Porter security, which is very important because you don't want anybody else to be able to reconfigure your porter and mess with your Wi-Fi settings. So I want this device to be the only device that can do that. That security code is also very important in case you need to reset your porter and you copy that and save it. And we're gonna give this porter a, or yeah, we're gonna give the porter a nickname. I'm gonna call mine the Oasis. Kind of like the sound of that. Let's choose to customize the color of the background. We can customize the color of the text. We can have a custom welcome message. A lot of values are really cool and uh, neat custom settings. All right, so for iPhone support, and what I think is best is setting this to install the Wi-Fi profile, which minimizes the amount of uh, interaction your users are gonna have to do when they set this thing up. Here's what the welcome screen is gonna look like as a sample. You can also have them scan the QR code, but I think having the profile automatically downloaded is a lot easier. So let's go ahead and finish wrapping this thing set up. All right, so we hold there it again recognizes it all right it's good to go because this is a shareable screen where we can send people the instructions on how to connect we can also print out the uh the qr code and password like i was telling you about before yeah so we can print directly from the iphone or if you're using an android print directly from your android laptop so same thing i can just send this as a text message so that's the preview of what it's gonna look like when I go to print this out. But in this setup, we're just gonna go through the quick the steps. I'm not actually gonna print it out right now. Cool, let's test it out. Done and done. So it looks like the device is ready to go. It takes me back to the main page. All right, so I guess we'll just hold this up next to my phone. Let's see what happens. Oh, there it goes, cool. So just like with the link card, it recognizes the NFC chip. It's inside of the porter, pulls down a notification, I tap on that, join Wi-Fi. You know, this is asking me to install the profile. So yes, I want to install it. Yes, I want to be on my iPhone. And once that's done, you hit done, it successfully installed your profile. You go back to settings should see a screen that has the profile installed. You want to verify it here, just to make sure. Hit install and put in your device password. Hit install again, it's complete. All right, hit done. And now remember this phone's connected to the 5G network off the top. I don't really use my standard network, so. Okay, so now with the profile installed, it recognizes that there's just a base Netgear 89 available. And I don't have to put a password or anything else in there. Once I just hit connect, it seamlessly gets it going. Yep, signal at the top, change from 5G to the Wi-Fi, and it is good to go. So I love this device, guys. This is really cool. Like I said, if you're a business owner, if you're having a small business or a restaurant, or if you're just wanting something that's cool and attractive, and when people come over, you want to share your Wi-Fi network. I think this is great for you. And you should definitely take the time to look into it. But appreciate everybody watching this video. Stay tuned for the next one. And until then, stay safe. Peace.